Can you guys see me now? Can you guys see me? Hi, can you guys see me now? Oh, okay. Oh my god! For 15 minutes, I've been talking to myself. <laughs> That's why I'm like, why are you guys not responding? I'm like, it already started. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's so weird. You know, I... <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. Can you guys see me well now? <laughs> Wow, thank you so much for waiting. <laughs> I've been talking to myself. <laughs> so okay, so I'm gonna have to repeat everything. This is uh, because of technical difficulties, right? <laughs> thank you, 안녕하세요. Thanks for coming. That's why Nikki and Helen are talking in Greek. And I'm like, why are they, why are they talking in Greek only? <laughs> I thought I was learning Greek today. <laughs> and Rodrigo, yeah, I mentioned that you also requested yesterday you wanted to learn more of the neighbor article. And, and I thought maybe it's a good time to go back because we want to study the full structure since we've been doing a lot of lyrics. Uh, lyrics omit a lot of subject, object, verbs. But now, since um, now going back to articles will help us to understand the full structure, learning the conjunctions and different ways of talking, which is a formal speech in this case. Okay, so I'm gonna have to repeat everything. Let me see. Uh, so this article. Um, What's kind of stri striking to me is because this hasn't happened in Canada where I am right now. And South Korea had the outbreak as one of the first countries. And rest of the world is looking closely to their data to understand what's going to happen in their country and also to create their model to fight the outbreak. And this article was kind of interesting, whether you agree or disagree. And it's just, you can make your own decision. For me, I'm on the fence. I don't know what is good or what's not good. I'm just here to tell you what's happening in South Korea and we can study what they're saying. Okay, so... So make sure you have pen and paper ready and your dictionary because I'm going to ask you questions throughout the stream. So never too late or too early to answer. So don't be shy. We are all here to learn together. And the article link is um, put in the description down below. So if you want to study on your own time, please do so. You can copy, paste and print it and just go for it. So today, we're going to look at this article. Uh, okay. Can you guys see it? All right. <laughs> Stay funny. Okay, so this article is not too long or too short, but you may find a lot more challenging vocabularies because this is article, as you know. It's not something that we're going to normally say in speaking format, but it's good words to learn. But please stop me if you want me to reread or have any questions. Uh, but I actually picked out a few sentences we're going to go back and study and break it down word for word 
But in this case, even if you don't understand anything, don't be frightened because it's more about getting a feel of what it is like to read articles. 안녕하세요. 아이떼씨 and Rachel. Thanks for staying. So, Corona 19 의심 증상이 있는데도 제주를 관광, this one is hard to say, 관광, right? So, I'm gonna say 관광 한뒤 확진 판정을 받은 유학생 모녀에 대해 제주도가 손해배상 소송을 제기하기로 했습니다. In English, you may find dash here. When it's in the middle of the word, you may find dash. In Korean, we don't have such things. I think it's because it's more common to have dash in English word. It's because of the combination of constants and vowels. But in Korean, we always have the same syllable as in either consonant vowel or consonant vowel consonant. So when you look at this syllable, we know it is syllable. But in English, sometimes it's even broken into in between the syllables, in the middle of the syllable. That's why you may find dash in English word, but in Korean we don't use it. The 제주도 is one word, okay? Do you guys know what 제주도 is? 제주 is a uh, name of the place. 도 has the meaning of island. So Jeju Island, it's the south part of South Korea. It's uh, remotely down south, below South Korea. I mean, it's part of South Korea. But it's the warmest place. And they're famous for growing tangerine because they have a really good climate for growing tropical fruit. So they re um, export. Is export a good word for that between South Korea? Anyway, they we use a lot of tangerine from Jeju Island. And they're also famous for parks. <laughs> you can look it up, Jeju Island Park. And Jeju Island was never a hot place, as in hot, as in popular place before, but it became increasingly more popular because they're promoting their tourism a lot better than before. So when I was a kid, oftentimes kids would go to Jeju Island for their school trip, but for us, we didn't want to go to Jeju Island because it's always there. We wanted to try something else. So we went to Thailand instead, but I wish that we went to Jeju Island because I haven't got a chance to go there yet. But that's on my uh, top bucket list. Top bucket list. Here, 소송 금액만 1억 원을 넘을 거라는 게 제주도의 입장입니다. As you know, this is currency, 1억 원. Okay, but when you look at one dollar in US, it's usually equivalent to one thousand one. So, 1억, think of it as hundred thousand dollars. So, this one is a um, reporter, Ha Jiang Report. So, I am Ha Jiang Report. So, I'm just gonna skip this is a report too. 지난 20일 미국에서 돌아온 유학생이 어머니 등 3명과 제주를 찾았습니다. As you know, I pronounce it as M. 찾았습니다. I don't say 습니다. It's hard to say. 지난 15일 입국해 정부의 자가 격리 권고 대상이었습니다. 격리, it's also hard to say, we often use G as NG in this case. 격리, 격리 권고, 권고 대상. 이 유학생은 서울로 돌아간 
이튿날인 어제 같이 동행했던 어머니는 오늘 코로나19 확진 판정을 받았습니다. Am I going too fast? But this is okay. 제주에 온 당일부터 근육통과 인후통 등 의심 증세를 보였지만 4박 5일 동안 20여 곳을 돌아다녔습니다. Can you guys still hear me? It's not like this streaming stopped. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> Is it working? Right? 특히 테마파크와 우도로 가는 배편 등 다중 이용시설을 이용한 것으로 확인돼 2차 감염 우려가 커지고 있습니다. Can you hear me well? Is it still going, right? Okay, good, good. Oh, I see. You know, on my phone, the message doesn't get updated. So last weekend also, I kept telling you, oh, why are you guys so quiet, right? So on my phone, the message live chat doesn't get updated. Okay, I'm looking at the uh, browser version. Okay, thank you. Uh, where were we? Okay. 현재 확인된 접촉자가 47명. 명 is counting unit for people. Oh, Rachel, what's up? Up is billion, billion one. So normally you're gonna add three zeros when you convert US dollar to Korean currency one. Up. 1, 1억 원, 1 billion 1 is 100,000 dollars. So, 앞으로 더 나올 가능성이 있습니다. 급기야 제주도가 이 미국 유학생 확진자 모녀를 상대로 손해배상 소송을 청구하기로 했습니다. 제주에 들어온 당일부터 의심 증상을 보였고 서울로 돌아가기 전날엔 숙소 근처 병원과 약국을 찾았는데도 여행을 강행했다는 이유에서입니다. I can just skip this part. This is uh, someone is talking in the news. And then, 제주도는 손해배상액을 1억 원. Again, 1억 원 넘게 보고 있으며 방역 조치를 한 제주도와 영업장 폐쇄 피해 업소. 이드 모녀와의 접촉으로 자가 격리 조치된 도민들이 원고가 될 것이라고 밝혔습니다. <웃음> 음, 뭘 하는데? 네, 맞아요. 실리 씨 맞아요. 제주도는 또 이드 모녀에게 형사 책임을 물을 수 있을지도 검토하고 있습니다. So this is the ending. I got it from neighbor as you know. So what did you understand? I'm pretty sure this is a little bit challenging, but did you pick any words? Like did you recognize some words here and there? Yeah, random words. So in the title, I mentioned that Jeju Island sues a confirmed, COVID-19 confirmed family. So I prepared 
this. <laughs> As you know, I already went over. <laughs> I was going through the second. Uh, I'm gonna roll back. <laughs> or I can pick another sentence. <laughs> okay. So here, I picked four different sentences, but let me know if you want me to go over different sentence, but this is the four sentences I picked. I may do everything or I may leave one last one for you to study at home. It's up to you. So as you know, subject is orange, object. This is the object pink, verb blue. 이 유학생 서울로 돌아간 이튿날인 어제 같이 동행했던 어머니는 오늘 코로나19 확진 판정을 받았습니다. I pronounce it as 같이. We don't say 같이. It's a CH sound. 같이. What's the main verb here? Even though it's a long sentence, you can always tell where the main verb is because of Korean structure. Mazayo, patta. Padasunida. This is the ending. As you know, this is rep reporter talking. Reporters or news anchors, they talk very formally. Everything ends with da. It's a formal ending. Patta is received in the past tense. Oh, Shelly. Not really. <laughs> gave her COVID. Oh, gave her. You think that she gave her COVID-19. <laughs> okay, we figure out. So who received what? We see 이 유학생 은, right? That's also subject, but we have another subject, 어머니. Which one is related to the main verb? Is it this 유학생? 유학 is studying abroad. Is 유학생, studying abroad student, received, or 어머니, mother? 엄마 is mom. Think of it, 어머니 as mother. Mom received. I see. <laughs> okay, mom is correct. Mom received what? Corona 19 확진. It's a 확 as a confirmation. 진 is 진단, diagnose. So 확진 is a confirmation di from diagnose. 판정, decision. So mother received, confirmed, diagnose today. Okay? But 어머니 has adjective clause. 동행했던. This is a verb turned it into an adjective. 던, past tense, adjective. 동행하다 verb. Look up 동행하다. That is to accompany. Together. 어머니 who accompanied. Together. Received that today. But this part, it's not really as important because it's not part of the main verb or sen um, main sentence, but it's descriptive information. It's meta information. I mean. So, 어제, this is yesterday. What kind of yesterday? In. Beaver turned it into adjective. Yesterday, that was the second day. 이튿날. This is second day. 
But 돌아간, it looks like it's a verb that turned it into an adjective again. 돌아간. Do you know? 돌다 and 가다. They're combined together to 돌아가다. 돌다 뭐예요? 돌다. 네. 돌다 is spin, 가다 is go, 돌아가다 is return, go back. If you say come back, 안녕 슈밤. If you say come back, 돌아오다. 돌아가다, go back. 돌아오다, come back. In this case, went back to Seoul. Low is towards to Seoul, right? So yesterday, I'm gonna use this one as adjective. Yesterday, what's the second day? That, or which? This studying abroad student went back to Seoul. Mom who accompanied together, accompanied with this person, I guess, received the COVID-19 diagnosed confirmation today. Although this one was a long sentence, if you break it down, it makes sense, right? Now the second one, 제주에 온 당일부터 근육통과 인후통 등 의심 증세를 보였지만 4박 5일 동안 10, 20여 곳을 돌아다녔습니다. There is conjunction. What's the conjunction here? Jiman. 맞아요. Jiman입니다. This is but. Since this is a conjunction, we know this is the verb also, but there is a main verb. Main verb goes at the end. 돌아다녔습니다. This one also formal ending. So the verb you're gonna look up is 돌아다니다. 돌아다니다. Went around. Again, 돌아다니다. Think of it as it's not just going, go everywhere. 돌아다니다. Went around. What places? 20 different places. Yo is like squiggy line almost. 20 etc. places. 20 different places. I'm gonna say it like that. 동안. During. How many days? Is it 4 days or 5 days? 4박 5일. 박 has a meaning of night. 일 is day. So 4 nights and 5 days. 4박 5일. So we don't know the subject, we can only guess probably the mom and the daughter. They went around 20 different places for 4 nights and 5 days. But this is the first clause. What happened? 보이다 verb. I think we talked about it yesterday. 보다 is to see. 보이다 is something else. Boida, to be seen or to show. In this case, I'm gonna go with to show because there is an object. To show what? 의심 증세를. 의심. This is doubt as a noun. 의심, doubt or suspicion. 증세 is a symptom. In English, you may say suspicious symptom. So adjective noun, suspicious symptom. But in Korean, often you're gonna see noun and noun, the back to back. Suspicious symptom. This is the 
explanation about what kind of symptom it was. 근육통. 근육 is muscle. 통 has meaning of pain. Muscle pain and 인후통. This is like the throat area. Throat pain, etc. If Jess is here, it's kind of good vocabulary for her to know. Because <laughs> she's a nurse. So, 근육통, muscle pain, and throat pain, etc. That kind of suspicious symptom from that day. 당일 is that day. What kind of that day? We have verb turned it into adjective here. 오다 plus n. On. 오다. The day that they came to Jeju. They is missing. We assume it's the two people. Mother and daughter. So they show the suspicious symptom such as muscle pain and throat pain etc. From that day that they came to Jeju, but they went around 20 different places for four nights and five days. It's very different from lyrics. It's uh, very structured. So we know what's going on, right? We kind of get the feeling of what's going on now. So number three, 현재 확인된 접촉자가 49명 or 47명. 앞으로 더 나올 가능성이 있습니다. You, you can say 47명 because this is counting unit. But when, it's, when it goes really high number, I tend to use Chinese number system. In this case, it's not as high, so I can just say 47명. 현재, currently, 확인된. Can you guess this is verb turned it into adjective, right? 확인되다. 무슨 뜻이에요? What's the mean? 확인되다. To become confirmed. 되다 part of the verb, it means passively done. To be confirmed. Confirmed 접촉자. Contact. 접촉 by itself is contact. The action. 자 has meaning of people. 접촉자. The contact as people. 48, uh, 47 people. Comma. 앞으로, up means forward. Number is written, not spelled out. I can't help. Mm. The number is kind of difficult. Because you have to know two different systems and constantly understand which one, which system should I use, right? It is very challenging. Up is front. Right? 앞으로 means going forward. Has a meaning of going forward. 더. What is 더? I like to go over other syllable at the same time. 다 is all. 도 is also. As uh, Shuban mentioned, uh, "ta" is more. That's good. And then, "to." "To" is again. Oh, Shelly said "ta" as well. Oh, that's a good one. What is "ta"? The opposite of 더. 
which is less more all also again less <laughs> it's crazy 나올 가능성이 있습니다 can you guess 나올 is actually verb turned it into adjective right R is future adjective 나올 가능성 describing 가능성 possibility 있습니다 so what is the main verb here always at the end of the sentence 있습니다 있다 verb so there is there are or to exist or have but I'm gonna go with um, there is there is what 가능성 subject 있다 cannot have an object so you always see subject particle so there is possibility what kind of possibility that will come more going forward in this uh, in this case more as in the people who are infected right or people who are con uh, contacted with them maybe people who are in contact with them currently confirmed contact are 47 people going forward there is possibility that will come out more right so they went around 20 different places that's why the last one 급기야 제주도가 이 미국 유학생 확진자 모녀를 상대로 손해배상 소송을 청구하기로 했습니다. What's the main? Noun plus lo 하다. Think of it as have decided. This is do as noun, right? Meaning, have decided. Have decided to what? 청구하. 청구하다가 뭐예요? To claim. Have decided to claim 손해배상 소송을. 손해 is a loss. 배상, compensation, 소송 is lawsuit. All the nouns are combined, right? 손해, loss, 배상, compensation, 소송, lawsuit. Who decided to claim that? What's the subject here? 제주도가 제주 아일랜드 이 미국 유학생 확진자 모녀를 상대로 Think of it as this one 를 상대로 or noun 을늘 상대로 That's targeting targeting this American studying abroad student confirmed people mo nyo mo has meaning of mom nyo has meaning of female mother female becomes <laughs> mother female becomes mother and daughter mo nyo Yeah, this is, think of it as even then, or at all, um, at, uh, at most, it's, uh, at utmost, is that how you say? Even then, 
Jeju Island decided to claim loss compensation lawsuit targeting this American studying abroad student confirmed people, mother and daughter. Ultimately, okay, ultimately, after all, yeah maybe 결국 is after all eventually 급기야 is like even then almost this is not what they expected but this is uh, up to the point Ultimately sounds good. Ultimately. Reaching towards the limit. Maybe above limit. Even then. They did that. So this is four sentences. Um, do you guys want to do more? You can pick a sentence you want me to go through. If you want, and we finish the four sentences today. Do you want me to go over a specific sentence here? Maybe I can do this one because it's after those ones that we already did. So maybe I can add more. Oh, all the stuff is gone. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna add more here. Okay. So we're gonna go through this one. It's a little longer sentence. Are you guys ready for this? This is bonus because you're very enthusiastic. Everyone is enthusiastic to learn more. 제주에 들어온 당일부터 의심 증상을 보였고 서울로 돌아가기 전날엔 숙소 근처 병원과 약국을 찾았는데도 여행을 강행했다는 이유에서입니다. This is a long sentence. We have couple conjunctions. Can you guess what it is? Mmm, Rachel, something is the reason for something. Nikki, 맞아요, go. Very good. And there's another one. more. 는데도. Okay? 는데도. Even though. So we have about three uh, clauses here in one sentence. Uh, edit. What is it? I want to do this. Okay. So we have two, one, okay, there we go. So main verb, 이유에서, this part, 
It's actually EU에서 입니다. EU에서 입니다. It's not the normally what you're gonna see, but we're gonna go through it. And another verb, 찾다. Because it's conjunction here, you're gonna see verb here. Which means that you're gonna find another verb here, 보이다. The same verb that we went through. Let's look at the first clause. 제주에 들어온 당일부터 의심 증상을 보였고 보이다 verb 보이다 To show in this case I'm gonna have object here 의심 증상 We already talked about it 의심 증상 Suspicion symptoms That day Wi-Fi? I think it's a uh, YouTube. I saw on could that they have an issue with streaming due to high demand. It's just something turns off for a second. Okay. Oh, good to know. Thank you so much. So, okay, let's go through this one together and then we can finish today. Let's go through this one. <laughs> 들어오다 turned it into an adjective 들어온 to enter, right? 들어오다 is to enter. 그래요? But you can see me now. Shelly, can you see me now? Okay, I'm gonna continue. 아니요? Can anyone see me now? Can you see me moving around? <laughs> you know, yesterday? The, uh, okay. Good, Rachel. Uh, 안녕하세요, 블랑카 씨. 반갑습니다. Okay, most of you can see me. I was gonna dance the BTS. Feel me now. Feel me now. It's stuck in my head actually since yesterday. So, the mom and daughter showed the suspicion symptom from the day they entered Jeju Island. And 서울로 돌아가기 전날엔 숙소 근처 병원과 약국을 찾았는데도 어 좋아요 셸리 씨 찾다 볼 찾다가 뭐예요? 찾다 볼 찾다가 뭐예요? 찾다 볼 찾다가 뭐예요? 찾다 볼 찾다가 뭐예요? 찾다 볼 찾다가 병원과 약국. Actually, I will just do this. 병원 is hospital. 어 맞아요. 약국 pharmacy. Nearby 숙소. 숙소 is accommodation. So where they are staying. Nearby hospital and pharmacy. 전날엔. 전 is previous. Previous day. Time particle and in this case as for. As for the previous day. 돌아가기 전날. Returning to Seoul. 돌아가기 전날엔. As for previous day. Returning to Seoul. Even though they found hospital and pharmacy nearby, 숙소. 당일 is that day. 
uh, from that day. Tang has meaning of that day. <laughs> I have to look up, if I break into different syllables, I can always find deeper meaning. Tang has, Tangi, they use together. Tangi, that day. The specific day they enter Jeju. Okay, even though they look for that, 여행을 강행했다는, 강행하다, with, 강행했다는, adjective to describe you. 강행했다는 강행하다 verb. It's a force. Push ahead. Push ahead what? 여행. Trip. 행 comes from 한자 of a travel. Oh! 행. 그래요? I'm not sure. I have to look it up. I don't know all the 한자. It's hard to understand all the hanja. Yoheng. They're together as trip. So, EU. That's the reason. EU as a ida. EU as a ida. EU is reason. As a imnida in this case. In English, interpret it as it's because of. It's because of the reason. It's because of the reason. I think that it's a whole thing. The rest of the thing is describing reason. It's they want to sue mom and daughter. It's because of the reason. What reason? They show the suspicion symptom from the day they enter Jeju. Even though they look for, found hospital and pharmacy near their accommodation before previous days. Uh, pre as for the previous days, Returning to Seoul, they forced, they pushed ahead the trip. 그날부터, 당일부터, 어, 그날부터, you can use 그날부터, 그날부터, the, uh, the day, from. You can use both. It's common. It's more common in writing than spoken. I think they're about the same. 그날부터 그 당일부터. It's a good question. I think they're about the same. So they know they are having symptoms, but they went to Jeju Island. 네. 그래서 they want to sue the mom and the daughter $100,000 about in US dollars but I haven't seen this incidence in anywhere outside of South Korea that either province or their district is suing the people because they went around and spread um, it's interesting. So, if you want to read, read the full article. <laughs> One expensive trip. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to sue everyone now. But I think it's because the people in Jeju Island and the business people, they're very impacted because of their uh, neglected trip. That's why they're losing a lot of uh, loss in business as well. So we don't know which is actually 
good injustice or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> but as I know that there's so many people outside walking around spreading without knowing, even we knowing. How about the woman who spread a lot of a sp a spread virus to a lot of people from Shincheon Church? Is it Shincheon Church? The South Korea first confirmed case. She knew she had some kind of symptom, but she still went to the church and spread a whole bunch. So I don't know. How about that case? In Greece, if you go out of your house without a paper that says reason, really? 150 euro. That is, uh, how much is it in dollar? Is it like $200 in US or $300? Wow. So what is the reasonable reason? Is it like uh, going to buy toilet paper? <laughs> my mom was asking, I mean, all my family is in South Korea, and my mom was asking, why do everyone in rest of the world want to buy so much toilet paper? Apparently in South Korea, people are not stocking up their toilet paper, even though they have high... Uh, confirmed cases and she was uh, worried about that why do everybody go to the supermarket and buy for toilet paper and I told her what goes in what comes out and she said yeah but we have to worry about what goes in first <laughs> cops beat you with stick if you go out really right now no way I think they also in India like monkeys they're dying for food right I think I saw that so people people like uh, give free food to monkeys because monkeys are grouping together and finding food that was scary video yeah oh my so anyway, stay safe guys. So this is what's happening in South Korea, whether you agree or disagree. It may happen in your country going forward, it may not. Just, I guess, watch out. So tomorrow I'm thinking, yeah, stay healthy. Tomorrow, what do you guys think? Should we go, go back to the drama? The, my ID is Gangnam Beauty. It was kind of fun. We also picked up a pickup line from the video. It's more kind of fun, playful, right? Article is good once in a while, but it's a little dry. But it's good to know what's going on in South Korea. So, okay, maybe I go back to drama. If you have any suggestions about what to do for drama, also let me know. But tomorrow I can just continue the same video as uh, Nikki requested. Okay, then stay healthy everyone. And I see you tomorrow. Annyeong!